Why do you think Microsoft bought GitHub and what do you think is the future oh, great of GitHub? Point. Great point. I thought it was a brilliant move. I think they did because Microsoft has always had a developer-centric culture. Like they always have. Like one of the things Microsoft's always done well is understand that their power is the developers, right? It's been, you know, Balmer didn't necessarily make a, make a good yeah. meme about how he approached that, yeah. but <laughs> they're broadening that. I think that's why, because they recognize GitHub is where developers are at. Right, and so. But do they have a vision like Open Teams type of situation? I don't think right? so yet. I mean, I, 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 are they I just so. basically throwing money at developers to show their support? I think so. Without uh, a topology, like you put it, like a, a a way to leverage that, like to give developers actual money. Right. I, I don't. I don't think so. I think they're still. It's an enterprise software company, and they make a bunch of money. They make a bunch of games. They have a. They're a big, they're a big company. They sell products. I think part of it is they know there's opportunity to make money from GitHub. Mm -hmm. Right, there's definitely a business there, you know, uh, to sell to developers or to sell to people using development. I think there's part of that. I think part of it is also there's they had definitely wanted to recognize that the, that that the, you need to value open source to get great developers, yeah. which is which is an important concept that was emerging over the past ten years. That you know, PyData, Pi we were able to convince J.P. Morgan to support PyData because of that fact. Right, mm -hmm. that was where the money for them putting a couple hundred thousand into supporting PyData for uh, several conferences was they want developers. And they realized that developers want to participate in open source. So enterprise software folks don't always understand how their software gets used. Having spent a lot of time on the floors at J.P. Morgan, at in Shell, at ExxonMobil, you see, oh, these companies have large development teams. And and then you're they're kind of dealing with the what's being delivered to them. So I really feel kind of a privilege that I had a chance to learn some of these people and see what they're doing mm -hmm. and, and even work alongside them, uh, you know, as a consultant, uh, using my using open source and trying to figure how do we make this work inside of our large organization? Well, uh, some of it is actually for a large organization, uh, some of it is messaging to the world that you care about developers and you're the cool, yep. you're, uh, you care. Like for example, like if Ford, cause I talked to, to them, like car companies, right? They they want to attract, you know, you want to take on Tesla and Autopilot, you want right. to take that, right? And so right. what do you do there? You show that you're cool, like you sh you try to show off <laughs> that you care about developers and they have a lot of trouble doing that. And like one way, I, I think like Ford should have bought GitHub. They like just to show yeah, off. Yeah, no better, yeah, yeah. Like these old school companies and it's in a lot, good of, point. <laughs> a lot of different industries. There's probably different ways. It's probably an art oh, I, to I, show I, yeah. that you care to developers. And the developers, it's 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 exactly what you said. Like, for example, just spitballing here, but like Ford or somebody like that could give $100 million to the development of NumPy and uh, like, like literally so look at like the top most popular projects in Python and just say, we're just gonna give money. Right. Like that's gonna immediately make you cool. They, they could actually, yeah. And in fact, <laughs> and then, we set up NumFocus to make it easy. Yeah. But the challenge was, is also you have to have some business, business development. Like it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a seeding problem, right? And you look at how, I've talked to the folks at Linux Foundation, know how they're doing it. I know how, uh, and starting NumFocus, because we had two babies in 2012. One was Anaconda, one was NumFocus, right? And they were both important efforts. They had distinct journeys and super grateful that both existed and still grateful both exist. Um, but there's different energies in getting donations as there is getting, um, this is important to my business. Like I'm selling you something that, that this is not a, this is salt, this is, I'm going to make money this way. Like if you can tie it, if you can tie the message to an ROI for the company, it becomes That's a more no effective. It's much more effective, right? So, and, and there are rational arguments to make. I've tried to have conversations with marketing, especially marketing departments. Like very early on, it was clear to me that, oh, you could just take a fraction of your marketing budget and just spend it on open source development and you get better results from your marketing. Like, because- How, how did those, can, can I, sorry, I'm gonna try not to go no, on no, rants here. What have you learned from the interaction with the marketing folks on that kind of, because you, it's, it's, this yeah. you gave a great example of something that will obviously be a much better investment in terms of marketing is supporting open source projects. The challenge is not dissimilar from the challenge you have at, at, in, in academia at the different colleges, right? Knowledge gets very specific and very channeled, right? And so people get, they get a lot of learning in the thing they know about. And it's hard then to bridge that and to get them to think differently enough to 
have a sense that you might have something to offer because it's different. It's like, well, how do I implement that? How do I, what do I do with that? Like, do I, which budget do I take from? Do I slow down my spend on Google ads or my spend on Facebook ads? Or do I not hire a content creator instead? Like, like there's an operational aspect to that, that that you have to be the CMO, right? Or the CEO, you have to get the right level. So you have to hire a high position level people right. that care about this and this right or they won't know how right. right and and because you can also do it very clumsily yeah right and i've seen it because you can you you absolutely have to honor and recognize the, the 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 people you're going to and the fact that if you just throw money at them it could actually create more problems